you spent your entire career in engineering and in particular maintenance engineering. Who did you work for? I was working for Shell. I worked there for about 32 years. And so where were you based? I was based basically in the refinery of Penis. I was also in Al Jubail, Saudi Arabia, and also in the NAM in the north of the North Holland. And so what can you tell me about your involvement with the uh, vows and actuators during your career? In general, I was a uh, 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 troubleshooter. So when something went wrong, I came to files and actuators and also general instruments. So if you look back, is there any particular issue with valves or actuators which sticks in your mind? Well, I do remember an, uh, a boiler feed water valve which was uh, badly leaking. And uh, was a seat leakage and a body leakage. So it was uh, very eroded by a high pressure drop. And so what was the solution to this problem? <laughs> you buy a new one. <laughs> that's, the, that's the only solution, I think. So what advice would you have then for the up-and-coming maintenance engineer? I think the maintenance engineer has to know his application in detail. And of course he has to know a uh, good relation with operations. Yeah. Now I understand that you actually retired a few years ago and since then you've started a new career as a teacher right here at the RDM Innovation Dock in Rotterdam. With all respect, you could have been spending your time fishing or hunting or playing cards or travelling. So why have you chosen to be a teacher? Well, I noticed the last 10 years already that there is a big uh, gap of knowledge with the new people and uh, the young people. So I think the best thing to do is to uh, hand over some information uh, from the old people to the new people. So would you recommend then engineering and technology as a, a career choice for youngsters? Certainly, yes.